Um, what this one says is this one says congruent parts. All right, Megan? So what that says is if you have AC is equal to CE, right? If those two are exactly the same, all right? Did I write that? Where did I write that? OK. So if you say AC is congruent to CE, and you have these three are all parallel lines, and these are congruent, then you can prove then that BD has to be congruent to DF. It might seem like it's pretty obvious, but it's something that's very important for you guys to understand. If you have three sets of parallel lines and you have two, li two sides that are congruent to each other, then you can show that the other two, where it crosses another transversal, are also going to be congruent to each other. OK? It's pretty basic on your idea. That's it. That's all I got. So now 